Hi. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so hi, I'm Ramon, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that happens to me very often. And um, I just want to first a uh, quick show of hands. Anybody other got stuck while coding on a problem? Now, can all the liars put up their hands? <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you, I get stuck. Uh, this is me trying to install a Ruby gem on my computer, and I have no idea why it's not installing. Uh, I get stuck a lot. This is me trying to build a Mac OS app. This is how I originally started my career. And it's not just encoding. I also get stuck while blogging. Um, I, you know, sometimes it just takes a while for inspiration to strike. So uh, I'm just going to tell you a, a short story about getting stuck and how we can all relate with that and do better for ourselves. Um, it's a story, uh, sorry, it's a, a hand-drawn story, but please note, uh, my drawing skills stopped developing by the time I hit seven, so please bear with me. So these are our two main characters. Let's call them uh, Joe and Ash. And it is a lovely day. Uh, the sun is out, the birds, those are birds. The birds are singing, and uh, Joe's inside. They're working on their computer, and they're kind of annoyed because they encountered a bug, and they're just like, I'm like I'm this close to fixing it, and Joe and Ash comes in and said, hey, here's an idea, let's go on a walk. Those are footsteps, yeah? <laughs> let's go on a walk, I'm sure you can clear your head and whatever, and Joe's like, hold, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm this close to fixing it. Now, what happened is that many, many hours later, um, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, Ash wanted to take Joe on a walk with their two lovely dogs, right? And what happened is that many hours later, Joe was still at the computer. Ash was not feeling that wild about it and came over and said, Joe, I'm very, very sad. I wish we'd gone on that walk. And unfortunately, the poor dogs did not get walked. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat, small spoiler, that was me. Uh, and this happens to me all the time. And it's, it's terrible because, you know, I, I get stressed, I get annoyed, and uh, the dogs, they're so sweet. These are my parents' two dogs. They, they didn't get walked. And, um, but what happens is once or twice, I'll just be like, you know what? I'll do it. Let's, let's go on that walk. And being a person who has a hard time getting bugs out of their head, I'm just like thinking of a million ways. That, you know, I, with Mac OS apps, there's lots of memory leaks going on and, you know, I struggle with it, and then all of a sudden, ba-bang, that's a light bulb, ba-bang, it gets, the idea comes into my head, I scurry home, and I try, and what do you know, I fixed it. Now, I have really short hair. Um, so, now, that for me was a walk, and of course, to everybody, it doesn't have to be a walk. It can be, you know, going for a cup of coffee. Lately, I've been calling the public pool close to my house, uh, my best debugging tool because it, you know, you just go there for half an hour and then you just figure stuff out. It doesn't have to be pool. It can be a cup of tea. It can be chatting to a friend. It can be going for a run, maybe painting a picture, playing some video games, taking a nap, playing with puppies, or traveling. Um, what is important is I find that you step away from your environment for a little bit and just let, let the background in your mind just, just mull things over. So what I've learned over the years is that, you know, it does happen, you are going to get stuck, and I have to remember, I eventually will fix the problem. And if I don't fix the problems, I will get the help I need to fix the problem. And, you know, my, my most important point is one below. If I'm going to be stuck and unproductive, I might as well enjoy that time. So that's it. Thank you.